Okay, the polynomial z to the power of 4 plus 3z squared plus 6z plus 10 is denoted by pz. Okay, function pz. The complex number negative 1 plus i is denoted by u. Okay, showing all your working, verify that u is um, root of the equation pz equals to 0. Okay, first you have z equals to x plus i y. Okay, this is the very first thing that I do whenever I have a question. Okay, or in this case, since it's denoted by u, so I'm going to write it u equals to x plus i y. Okay, and remember, if at all, show all your working, verify that u is a root of the equation of pz equals 0. Okay, who's that? Okay, so if u equals to x plus i y, then if one, we know that, you know, if, if we have a quadratic equation, let's say x squared plus 3x plus something, okay, let's say 7, okay, you will always have two roots, okay, irrespective whether the roots are real or uh, imaginary, doesn't matter, or complex number, doesn't matter, but you will have two roots, okay, and one of the root will be the conjugate of the other one. Okay, are you guys okay with that? Yeah, do you understand that? Yep. Yeah, okay, so one of the, because we use the quadratic equation, when we use quadratic equation, okay, the formula negative b plus minus square root b square minus 4 is over 2a, you'll have two values, okay, for a quadratic. So likewise, same here, if I have an equation, u is a root, then the conjugate of it must be uh, x minus i y is also a root. Okay, that's the first thing that you must know. And then before I do, I normally would like to write down what is i. What is i? Anyone? Negative one. Square root of negative one, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I square equals to negative one. Okay. I'm not going to ask you guys because. Uh, your response is overwhelming. It's okay. I'll just do it. Okay, just listen. Okay, later I'll send you the, this recording. Those who are not here, okay, at least you know. I'll try to do all three questions if time time permits. Okay, this is the first one. So u equals to, in this case, u equals to one uh, minus one plus i. So u equals to negative one plus i. So therefore, the conjugate of it is negative one minus i. Okay, negative 1 minus i. Are you following? Okay, now uh, u square. Okay, in this case, we have polynomial z to the power of 4 plus 3z uh, square plus 6z plus 10. So if u is this, then what is u square? u square will be negative 1 plus i, okay, and then negative 1 plus i. So let's expand this. You should get negative 1, negative 1, which is positive 1, and then minus i, and then another minus i, and then plus i squared. So expand this, you should get 1 minus 2i, and negative plus i squared, i squared is negative 1, so minus 1, so your final answer is negative 2i. The reason I did y squared is because if u is a root of this equation then if i sub u here so p instead of z it's u then it should give you u to the power of 4 plus 3 u square plus 6 uh, u not z 6 u okay plus 10 and this whole thing should be zero okay we know in 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 uh, quadratic equation x square plus uh, 4x plus 4, then x equals to 2, okay, x equals to 2. So if I sub x2 here, okay, uh, or minus 2, okay, x equals to minus 2. So if I sub here, then all this should give me 0, okay, if I sub minus 2 over there. So therefore, that's how uh, um, a root is. Then this is equals to 0, so x equals to negative 2 is a root, okay. So therefore, same thing, if um, x u is a root, then u square, when I substitute inside, 
okay, or u to the power of 4 should give me 0. So that's the reason I want to find u squared, because if I sub here, this becomes no more z, it's u to the power of 4. Okay, so I take this negative 2 and then I plug in inside. So you will get negative 2i and square because u square, we already got negative 2i and then plus 3 and this should be negative 2i, okay, plus 6 and then what is u? u is negative 1 plus i plus 10 and therefore from here we can simplify this negative 2i is... 4i square and then minus 6i and then minus 6 plus 6i and then plus 10. Okay, so let's solve this. So 4 times by negative 1 and then this will be, that's gone. So, so negative 6 plus 10. So that's negative 4 uh, minus 6 plus 10, and there you go. That gives you 0. Okay. So from there, we can show that uh, that showing all your working, verify that u is a root. So definitely u is a root, and that's how uh, it's, it is shown. Okay, next. So for that, you get 3 marks. Okay. Next. Let's do this. The next part. Okay, to find the roots, okay, the, the question, find the other three roots of the equation pz equals zero. Find the other three roots. So one of the root is u equals to, um, what is that, negative one plus i, okay? We have to find the other three roots, okay? So we have, so this is one of the root, and then the other root will be because if this is u is, um, a factor then the conjugate of it is also one so negative one minus i but what about the other two roots okay what about the other two roots so we have two here what about the other two so let's find that so to find the other two roots we already have okay z minus um, x plus i y and then times this by z minus x minus i y okay so this is what it means so if it's a if one of the root is x plus i y the other root should be x minus i y which is the conjugate so going on this okay based on this so if one of it is minus one plus i okay the other one which is the conjugate z minus negative one minus i sorry negative one Okay, negative 1 minus i. Okay, now you expand this. So you get um, z plus 1 minus i and then z plus 1 plus i. Okay, so let's expand this. You get z square plus z plus z i plus z plus 1 plus i minus z i minus i and minus i square okay minus i square okay so let's simplify this further so that's z and z so that's 2z so z square plus 2z and then z i and z i so that's gone and then i and i is gone so that leaves us with plus one minus i square and we know <coughs> i square is negative one excuse me so z square plus two z plus one and minus negative one so therefore z square plus 2z plus 2 okay so this is the other root okay that's i mean that's the other root in terms of quadratic so i need to what i have to do is i have to find that square plus 2z plus 2 
use the long division method. So z to the power four plus three z square plus six z plus 10. Okay, now find the other factors. Okay, find the other factors. So uh, let's do this. So, okay, using the long division method. So that's z square, so you should have z square over here. So z square times z square will give you z to the power of 4. And then z square times by 2z will give us 2z to the power of 3. Okay, and then z square times 2 will give us 2z square. Okay, so now let's minus this. So z square minus z to the power 4 minus z to the power 4, that's gone. Okay, next is 2z cubed, but there's nothing over here, okay, with z cubed. So 0 minus 2z cubed will give us negative 2z cubed. 6z minus 2z there's no, uh, I mean, 6z, so there's no nothing with z, so that's gone as well. So that should give us negative, uh, sorry, positive 6z, plus the 0 at the bottom. Whereas for 2z square, you have 3z square over here. So 3z square minus 2z square will give me 1z square. And 10 minus 0 is just positive 10. Okay, so now we have negative 2z cubed plus z square plus 6z plus 10. Okay, now let's solve this. Okay, to get negative 2z cubed with z square, you times it by negative 2z. Okay, negative 2z times by z square will give me negative 2z cubed. Negative 2 z cube negative 2 z times by 2 z is negative 4 z square right negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 z square z square is negative 4 z square next negative 2 times by 2 is minus 4 z right okay Let's solve this. So negative 2z cubed minus negative 2z cubed, that's gone. Positive z square minus minus 4z square is 5z square. 6z minus minus 4z is 6 plus 4, which is 10z. And 10 minus 0 is positive 10. Okay. Oh, last one so that's 5 z square so it's just positive 5 positive 5 times z square is positive 5 z square positive 5 times 2 is positive 10 z positive 5 times 2 is positive 10 and that will give us nil z square minus 2 z plus 5 and then you have z square which you have divided the divisor z square plus 2z plus 2 okay z square plus 2z plus 2 so for this we know we have uh, two roots which is here negative 1 plus i and then negative 1 minus i but what about this one this is what i have to find this is negative 1 plus i and then negative 1 minus i we already got that but this is what i have to find so to do that you use quadratic equation Okay, so z square minus 2z plus 5 equals 0. So a equals to 1, b equals to negative 2, c equals to positive 5. So use x equals to negative b plus minus b square minus 4ac over 2a to solve. Uh, then you should be able to find your answer. Okay, since I did this this morning, I'll just plug in the value. I'll let you know. Okay, so negative b, negative, negative 2 plus minus b square negative 2 square minus 4 what's a 
1 and then C is positive 5. The whole thing divide by 2 times by 1. Okay, so from there we get the answer as, what is that? Positive 2 and plus 2 square which is 4. 4 minus 20 is negative 16 over 2 and I can break this as 2 negative 16 is a uh, third one which is i uh, 4i so you have positive and minus plus minus 4i over 2 which I can break it to 2 plus 4i over 2 or 2 minus 4i over 2 okay simplify further you get 1 so z equals to 1 plus 2i or 1 minus 2i okay so therefore you have two roots over here and then you have another two roots over here the green color over here okay z square minus 2z plus 5 and then you have z square which you have divided the divisor z square plus 2z plus 2 Okay, z square plus 2z plus 2. So for this, we know we have uh, two roots, which is here, negative 1 plus i, and then negative 1 minus i. But what about this one? This is what I have to find. This is negative 1 plus i, and then negative 1 minus i. We already got that. But this is what I have to find. So to do that, you use quadratic equation. Okay, so z square minus 2z plus 5 equals 0. So a equals to 1, b equals to negative 2, c equals to positive 5. So use x equals to negative b plus minus b square minus 4ac over 2a to solve. Uh, then you should be able to find the answer. Okay, since I did this this morning, I'll just plug in the value. I'll let you know. Okay, so negative b, negative, negative 2 plus minus b square negative 2 square minus 4 what's a 1 and then c is positive 5 the whole thing divide by 2 times by 1 okay so from there we get the answer as what is that positive 2 and plus 2 square which is 4 4 minus 20 is negative 16 over 2 and I can break this as 2 negative 16 is a uh, third one which is i uh, 4i so you have positive and minus plus minus 4i over 2 which I can break it to 2 plus 4i over 2 or 2 minus 4i over 2 okay simplify further you get one so z equals to one plus two i or one minus two i okay so therefore you have two roots over here and then you have another two roots over here the green color over here okay